Okay, folks, I'm going to tie a wee snatcher um, duck fly. The hook I have on the vise is a size 10 Kamazam B110 grubber hook. I'm going to put a wee hat um, tag on the fly first, and that's going to be Glow Bright Floss number 7. So just come down to where you want your tag to start. A couple of tight turns on on the floss, remove the waist tag, take another couple of turns over that. And then come back up to where you started. Now keep the floss tight and come in with your whip finishing tool. And just do in a two turn whip finish nice and tight. Then come in and just trim away the glow bright floss. Now you can protect that with some UV resin if you wish, but I'm just going to put on a wee drop of super glue. Show me it that way. Now, this is a fresh pot, so the super glue should dry fairly quickly. So just put the super glue the whole way around the, the tag. Now, the thread I'm going to use to tie the fly is Uni Thread 80 and Black. Show you the thread. That's it there. I'm just simply going to start the thread behind the eye of the hook, knock on a few turns and remove the waist tag. Now the ribbon on the fly is going to be a silver wire. This is just a small silver wire. It doesn't have any diameter on it. It's just a silver creek silver wire that I'm using. So I'm just going to catch this in on the way down. I'm going to offer this up to my side of the hook. Right. Trying to keep the wire on my side. I'm just going to run the thread down to meet the tag. To there. Now I'm going to dub the body. And the dubbing that I'm using is the traditional Irish dubbing. And the one that I'm going to use is called the Baldari Black. This one here. So. I'm just going to take a small pinch of out of the dispenser and then I'm just going to dub it onto the thread. Right. Always remember taking your dubbing the one way. It's great stuff, dead easy to dub, good material to use and work with. Right. Simply then. Bring your thread up with your dubbing on it. The length of the body, which is there, any excess, just come in, take it away. Anything that wants to go forward, just sweep it back and get a couple of turns in front. I'm going to palmer up a haggle down the body. And this is a genetic cock haggle in black. So I've already stripped the rubbish off the bottom. Just going to take a few turns, offer it up to the hook, tie it in, come in, trim away the stem. Then I'm going to just palmer the haggle down the body. Just going to start it. I think they get a couple of turns at the shoulder of the fly here. And then just palmer the haggle down. Five turns of the haggle will do if you think it heavily dressed. Just put more turns of haggle in and down the body. Now, just keep a hold of your haggle tip. Just come around with your silver wire. Gonna turn in the hold and then just simply rub the body. Now, four turns is plenty for me. Now, keeping the wire tight and come in, break away the tip of the haggle. Anything that's wanting to go forward. Stroke these wee favours back and bring the wire up in front, pulling it around with your thread. Just get a couple of tight turns in there, securing in the haggle or the wire, sorry. Nice and tight. And then you can come in and bend and break away the wire. Don't cut it, you just ruin your scissors. Now, my own personal preference is I want these haggles to sort of way sweep back. So I'm just going to come in with some Velcro. A lollipop stick and just give it a good brush out 
and I'm also brushing the fibers back. Just want them to sit back for me. It's just the way I like my snatchers. It's like that. Now I'm going to put some legs onto the fly. And these are just going to be pre knotted pheasant tail legs. So I'm just looking three down each side. So six there. Just rip them away from the stem. Then you can offer these up to the, the hook. Now you can have them long or short, whatever way you like them. I just like mine coming slightly past the hook. So just do that. Now don't worry. Just bring them straight again. Sometimes they'll move. Just come around with a turn of thread, nice and tight now. Tanning your legs. Okay. And then you can come in and trim away the excess of the cock fathom favour. Now just take your thread down, tidying this up. And bring your thread back up again. Now I'm just going to put in some dubbing in behind this. And it's going to be the traditional Irish dubbing in red. Just to give it a wee hot spot if you like. At the top of the fly. So just dub it on. Always taking your dubbing the one way, nice and tight, and slide it up. And then get a turn in, and you can tighten up. Right. Let me think it's going forward. Just bring your thread in front. This stage now, just going to hold my legs. I'm just going to come in with my Velcro. Just want to pick a wee bit of it out. Just touch it. Bring out a bit of the red. Take my thread on down to the eye and back up. Now at this stage I'm going to put on a hen haggle. This is just a domestic hen cape. Um, I can't even remember where I got it from. I'm just looking at a smallish well marked haggle with some of the white in it as well. Just like that one there. Just a wee haggle. Eh? I'm just going to stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. After the tip up to the hook, got my nice tight turns, fold the tip back, just bring your thread turns back up over the tip and the haggle. Now you're looking at a couple of turns of this, so just come in, locate your tip, remove it. Two turns of a plenty. If you want more on, you put more on, or if you like your haggle, if you like the favour longer, that's fine too. So that'll do me there. Just going to keep a hold of the haggle stem. Just going to follow it around with my thread. A couple of nice tight turns in to the stem. I'm going to fold the stem of the haggle back. Bring my thread to the front. Get my tight turns of thread in now. Nice and tight. Keeping my thread tight, come in and locate the stem. You can break it away. Right, I'm going to put some jungle cock on the fly. I'm going to look for a, a split eye first. Just one more. Right, I'm just going to encourage the split on the jungle cock eye. Just take it down a bit further, so I'm just going to come in with my scissors. I'm just encouraging the split. Just to go down a bit further on the eye. So just come in, take away all the rubbish. Don't need all this. Just take it away. Now for the jungle cock up to the hook. Force the, the split eye down either side. Just come around with a couple of loose turns and you can see how you're sitting at this stage now, if you're happy enough with that you can tighten up on the jungle cock now I'm not going to fold this back because it will just create too much bulk but just come in nice pair of sharp scissors here nice fine points 
take away the excess of the jungle cut. I'm going to bring my thread to the eye. Just build my, my head up from the eye upwards. Now don't be shy with your your head. It's all part of the fly. So just pulling the thread upwards, trying to create a nice neat head. Right. I'm going to keep the thread tight. Come in with my work finishing tool and just throw on a a work finish. Put that tight. And then just come in and trim away the, the excess thread. Now just to finish off, I'm just going to stick a wee drop of clear varnish on the head to seal everything up. Just on the head. Don't want to get into your haggles. Just want it on the thread and the head. And there you go. So that's a wee snatcher. Um, duck fly pattern if you like um give it a wee go and hopefully it can catch you a few fish